Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on Mithril 2D. So today we're going to learn about quests. Um, we're basically going to create a quest for uh, our friend Yosbar that is going to be about um, collecting an item. So let's jump right into it. So let's start by opening this folder which is located in demo, scriptable objects and quests. And let's create a new folder. So folder and let's call it find helmet. So let's open it, right click, create mithril 2D. And we're going to go under quests and we're going to create a quest. Let's call it quest find helmet. Here we go. And the title is going to be find helmet. Then we can add a little description that is going to show up um, in the quest journal. Here we go. And then we can set the recommended level, which is um, just an indication for the player. Um, we can also set it to repeatable if we want the quest uh, to be uh, obviously repeatable. Uh, and then we can create some tasks. So to do that, we're going to right click here again. Hit create Mithril 2D. We're going to go under quest, task and item task. We're going to call it task underscore acquire helmet done now we can set the item that is expected to be collected so we're going to choose the iron helmet the amount to collect which is going to be one and require previous task completion is going to be unchecked because there is no previous uh, task we can also edit how it's going to show up in the quest journal um, you can leave it as default if you want um, otherwise, the first element is going to represent the name of the item. The second element is going to represent how many you have already. And the third element is going to represent how many you need to collect, which is going to be one. So because we know we only have um, one iron helmet to collect, we can remove this part. Now we can hit save. We can go back to quests and we can add our task. So we click the plus here and then we select the task acquire helmet. Then we're going to decide what we want to do once the quest is completed. So we're going to hit the plus button right here and select add experience. We're going to add a hundred experience points. Then we're going to add the quest offer dialogue, the quest hint dialogue and the quest completed dialogue. So the offer and the completed dialogue are required and the hint is only optional. So let's go here and right click, create Mithril 2D. We're going to go under dialogues and dialogue sequence. Here we're going to call it dial offer. And we're going to add a line here. Do you want to get a helmet for me? And then option count is going to be two. One of them is going to be accept. And the other one is going to be decline. If we set accept, the quest system is going to understand that this option is going to basically accept the quest and decline for the second one. We're not going to add any dialogue sequence here, which means that there won't be any follow up dialogue after we accept it or decline this quest. Now that we created this offer dialogue, we can create a new one for the completion. So let's go into create Mithril 2D. Um, we're going to go under dialogues again, dialogue sequence and call it completed. Here we're going to say thank you. And that's it. Now we can go back to our quest right here. We can add the quest offer dialog. I'm going to drag and drop it right here. And we're going to add a completed dialog right here. Now that our quest is completed, we want to make sure that it's available to our player. So to do that, we go into the save files. So I'm using the database right here that you can find under window, Mithril 2D and database. So let's go into the save file and select the night save file. You would have to update all your save files if you want all of your heroes to have this quest. So let's go under night and let's look into the available quests. So let's add one right here. And let's select our newly created quests. 
And that's it. Now we're ready to try our game. So let's save and hit play. So let's walk up to Yo's bar and see if he has a quest for us. As you can see, there is an exclamation mark on top of his head, which means that he has a quest to offer. Do you want to get a helmet for me? Accept. Here we go. Find helmet started. So now if I open the menu and I go in the quest journal, I can see that the quest is showing up there. Acquire iron helmet. We're going to go right over there, open this chest, and now we can see that our quest got updated. And we're ready to give the helmet back to Yosbar. Thank you. Lastly, I want to add a quick note on how to set up your NPCs so they can accept and offer quests. If you can't see the exclamation mark on top of an NPC, it probably means that your NPC is not properly set up for quests. To do that, let's look into the Yosbar prefab right here. Let's go right into it. Now, if you look into the root object, Yosbar, you can go down and find the NPC script. The NPC script has a bunch of interaction associated with it. And the first one should be the quest interactor. So you can see the quest interactor component right here and it's linked right here. So this has to be set if you want your quest system to function with a particular NPC. So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I will see you for the next tutorial. Peace.